Okay, so we're gonna do a reaction video. This is hey, hey. Nine One Six and Dirty Weather Nine One Six. We have a combined channel called The Dirty Haven. So we're going to react. Dirty Haven. <laughs> the Dirty Haven. So listen, we're going to do this reaction video. And um, first, I want to just say that I don't. we don't condone violence. We don't um, make fun of anyone like that has mental illness or anything like that. We are so you're about to show me, you're about to show me video nothing. to um, a body camera. So you ain't gonna show me nothing. Gonna make no, throw you up have not right? seen this. So I want you. Right. No, it's not gonna make you. <laughs> so um, there's some body cam and security footage that shows um, an alleged attack in Ohio. It, it's um, I think it's a, a town called Youngtown, uh -huh. in Ohio. It happened on September the 14th. There's a 25-year-old guy, Keyshawn Sims. He would not leave the police station and allegedly he lunged at an officer um, when the officer called him mental and refused to let him speak with the police chief. So we're about to break this down. We're going to break this down for you all. Okay, so uh, all right, all right, all right. You see the title. Uh, first, let's talk about a uh, fair use disclaimer. So one second, and we're going to get into it, but we have to do this part right here, okay? All right, here we go. This part. <laughs> All right, we good with that? Did you see the fair use? All right. I'm going to take that as a yes. Okay, so let's get into the video. All right, let's go. And who authorities say was stopped. You have to leave. Why? Leave. Make me leave. Leave. Make me leave. I can leave? Yeah. Make me leave. You sure this is on? You have to leave. Say that again. He telling the police. Call me retarded. Say that again. You're mental. Body camera footage cap. Okay, pause. <laughs> let me start that over. Did you see? I'm gonna just let me just start it over again. You heard what the man said. You heard the intro, right? I can't hear you. You, you are anytime. Busy. Anytime you talking about make me to a police, mm. that's the that's the ultimate challenge. They that already is on guard. They get ready for action. It's hard to start it. Speeding up. Make me okay. All right, so we're gonna start that over because I, I mean I couldn't even believe what I was watching. So. Uh, well, now I'm just going to let it play all the way through and then we'll talk about it. We'll unpack it afterwards, okay? I'm going to just right. let it play all the way through this time. It's Here crazy. Me. Let's go. You have to leave. Why? Leave. Make me leave. Leave. Make me leave. Make you leave? Yeah. Make me leave. Make sure this is on. You have to leave, sir. Make me leave. Say that again. You called me retarded. Say that again. You're mental. Body camera footage captures the shocking altercation between an Ohio police officer and a man who authorities say was suffering from a mental health crisis. You think I'm playing, bro? Huh? Ain't nobody fucking mental. You can call somebody so I can fucking talk to someone. The incident happened on September 14th in Youngstown, Ohio. According to the police department, the man who you see here in the red shirt, who was later identified as Keyshawn Sims, approached the lobby of the department's auxiliary office, demanding to speak to the police chief. Okay, uh, I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about. The chief only talks to people if they make a, uh, an appointment. They only make, you have to make an appointment with the chief to see him. Okay. 
The officer then tells Sims he will call someone for him. However, the officer says that unnamed person is unavailable. Uh, she's not in her office. And that's when the discussion takes a turn as the officer tells Sims he is unable to help him and asks Sims to leave. Yeah, but everybody you need to talk to, that you want to talk to, are, uh, you have to make an appointment to see them. Well, that's the way it's going to be. You can say no all you want. Okay. I have someone who actually needs help. Can you have them? Sir, don't be difficult. Just, just. There's no one that will talk to you. No, because you're talking about some kind of manifestation. It's tell is that you know what that tells me that you're mental. You're mental. The officer then gets up from his desk and walks to the lobby area where Sims can be seen waiting for the officer. Say it. You have to leave now, sir. Or what? You have to leave now, sir. Call someone right there. I'm not calling anyone. Yeah, you you have to leave. Why? Leave. Make me leave. Leave. Make me leave. Make you leave? Yeah. And then the confrontation turns physical. Make me leave. Make sure this is on. You have to leave, sir. Make me leave. Say that shit again. You called me retarded. Say that shit again. You're mental. Think I'm playing, bro? Huh? Ain't nobody fucking mental. Can't call somebody so I can fucking talk to someone. The officer tells Sims to get off of him, but shortly after, another physical confrontation happens again between the two. Say that again. Say that again. We can do this all day. Yes, we can. Yeah. Seconds later, the officer then pulls out what appears to be his service weapon and points it towards Sims and both get into yet another physical altercation. Additional officers are able to come to the officer's aid where they tackle Sims to the ground. Not today. Yeah. Do I hear that out here? Who is it, girl? I have no idea. Surveillance video shared by the Youngstown Police Department also captured the physical confrontation between Sims and the officer, as Sims can be seen striking the officer repeatedly. Sims can then be seen tackling the officer, and when the officer reached for his service weapon, Sims put the officer in what appears to be a headlock before being tackled by another officer to break up the altercation. The officer's body cam then captures Sims being placed in handcuffs, but not without a final word from Sims to the officer. I'm see you again. Hope so. Thank you. Watch. Um, yeah, okay. Watch. I'm gonna get all What's your first name? You. That's what it is. Sims was eventually taken away in a squad car and charged with assault on a peace officer, menacing, obstructing official business, aggravated robbery, and intimidation. I got so many questions. Obviously, he was mental for one. My bad, my bad. I was heck of me. I was muted. Listen, um, you know, the first one of the first things that first of all, you know, I hate that that had to happen. And um, as I'm watching it, one of the first things I noticed, and I don't know if you noticed it, is that the officer from his end, from his position, as he's looking out into the lobby, that sign that was on the right that says we'll be back in 15 minutes. The fact that the officer had that in his in his own face will be back in 15 minutes. You realize when you're sitting at a desk, you have things around you that motivate you. Whether it's a picture of your kids, your family, uh 
something that you desire to have, a car, a house, whatever. But for you to have a signed poster that says, we'll be back in 15 minutes, to me, you're sitting there supposedly helping the public, but you constantly reminding yourself, I'll be back in 15 minutes. <laughs> I know Babe. I'm taking it further. I know I'm going down no. the road. That though that sign is for when he taking his fifteen minute break. He takes I the sign. Know. I oh. know. What I'm saying is that sign should not be in his face as an officer. I'll be, we'll be back in fifteen minutes because, as you can see, as the video progressed, and maybe I'm I'm reaching. Maybe I'm reaching. Um, he told the man. He told the man. I actually have someone who needs help. Bro, peace officer, police officer, uh, you're not even present in the moment, bro. You be back in the The man need to speak to the police chief. He need to speak to a police chief. What would, What do you think he wants to speak to the chief about? He wants exactly. to take off his That's Point why he... That's Case why people point. don't get direct access to the boss because mm. he probably that that whooping was probably meant for the chief. Case in point, you don't know what he want because you didn't ask what he want. What he he didn't ask that man what he want. He didn't say uh, the police chief is not here right now, but I can assist you. You know, let tell me what's going on. He didn't do none of that. He just kept saying like, bro, like the chief is not here. Um, and I have people that uh, need help, so you know what I'm saying. Like you're mental. Okay, okay. He and and he made that diagnosis by what by the way he was talking and his training. So he knew what he was dealing with, regardless of what came out of his mouth. He said, "I'm not mental." So he knew what he was dealing with. But see, here's the thing, though. In any law enforcement, that's that training right there is basic training when you're dealing with somebody that's being mental. But the thing is, you're not supposed to challenge somebody when they when they're displaying them signs. You're not supposed to challenge them. And when he said, "Say it again," that was a direct challenge. Whatever happens, happens. That's an engagement. That so, was no, there was no, there was no de-escalation in that whatsoever. Whatsoever. And so the officer, in my mind, he's not there. He be back in 15 minutes. Huh. He's not trying to be there. He's not trying to de-escalate. He's not trying to find out what this man needs to speak to the chief about. He's not trying to say, "Well, here's a form." He's not trying to say, "Well, you know what, my brother? Let me, uh, let me, let, let, let me get the police chief for you." And how we do that is by let me um, get some information from you. He didn't do any of that. But look at the hostility that he was displaying. I wouldn't did it either. Matter. It don't matter to me. It doesn't matter. The man did he, uh, he didn't have a weapon. At he that point, at that, at that, at the point, it became a struggle for that gun. They could have killed him. That you know what? That's the other thing I was gonna um, to, to to talk about is that I thought the man was gonna be killed, or shots were gonna be fired, or he was gonna get tased, or you know. We got to be careful, like, how we entertain people who we perceive to be mentally ill, because that could have went a whole different way. Yeah, so I want to say, uh, I want to say in this one, he got lucky. Uh, the police officer was just trying to do his job. That's how I look at it. He was just trying and to do I his job. He did a piss poor job, and that's my, that's my perception. And that's how I see it. I think that the officer has way more training than to challenge a person who he perceives to be mentally ill. Where is your training? Where are your dis de escalation skills? Where what happened? To, why would you, did the man say it, say it to my face? And he literally came out of his safety zone to say it in his face. Who does he that? Said, he said that obviously somebody that wants to go home or to jail wherever he wanted he had a mission and he accomplished it lock my ass up take me to Yale whoa Go. listen uh this is just our reaction and you know I want you all to uh what do you what are your thoughts what are your thoughts on this situation 
leave it in the comments and then any other um footage or videos or situations going on that you all want us to react to you can send them to uh what's your email curdy92679 at gmail c-u-r-t-y yes nine two six seven nine at gmail.com yes. and then yes. also you can send to um leave a comment in this video <laughs> so i don't know my email address for dream to save okay so, uh, i don't know what it is <laughs> all right so okay right there all right all right so also also